Hey guys, my name is Van Michael Komatsu. Um, I'm currently living in Louisville, Kentucky. I came here to go to Southern Seminary, but I'm originally from Maui, Hawaii, and that's where I met Josh. So what we're going to go over today is core value number two of one love. Uh, the key statement for this value is when you mess up, don't give up, fess up. And the key verse is 1 John 1, 9, which reads, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So drawing from this key statement and this key verse, I just have three instructions, three encouragements for you from 1 John 1, 9 and the key statement and this second core value um, that you will hopefully embrace yourselves and then be able to teach others. So the first encouragement or instruction that I want to tell you guys from these verses is, number one, just realize your failure. Okay? There, there are a lot of people who refuse to realize their failure. We, we are huge mess-ups, if we are honest with ourselves. This verse assumes that we have sins, right? If we confess our sins. And then if you read the Bible, guys, honestly, the Bible throughout, it's impossible to read Scripture without realizing that the Bible says over and over and over again that we're all massive mess-ups. We're huge failures. We're huge sinners. So as we think about this, we we got to realize that we have to come against certain false ideas. Right? So the first false idea is says this. It says, don't worry about it. You're not so bad. This is what the culture wants to tell us. This idea says that I'm too good to need Jesus. Now, I want you guys to listen to me very clearly. You are in very big trouble if you think that you're a huge success all on your own. Because God opposes those who are proud, but he gives grace to the humble. The person who is in the greatest spiritual danger is the person who is self-confident and doesn't see his many sins and many failures. We're not supposed to make excuses for our sin. Our sins are not accidents. They're not mistakes. They're sins. They're disobedience against God. You'll never confess your sin if you're, think you're too good of a person and you think that you're too good to need Jesus. But there's another false idea out there that's kind of the opposite. The second false idea is Christianity is for the good people who have it all together. This false idea says that I'm too bad for Jesus to save me. Now that's, that's very wrong because Luke 5, Jesus says, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are weak. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So my question for you and what you can ask others is, are you a failure? Are you a sinner? Are you a huge mess up? Do you have a lot of sin? Are you a bad person? And if you answered yes, then Christianity and Jesus are for you. Those who are well have no need of a physician. If you're a sinner, then you are sick with sin. And Jesus is the great physician who has come to save us. So here's what we need to teach and what we need to remember ourselves. We are huge mess ups. But Jesus came to save huge mess ups. Jesus came because we desperately need help and it does no good to tell anyone that they just need to live a good life and everything will be fine. That's the opposite of what the Bible says. The Bible says that we are dead in sin, that we're in rebellion against King Jesus, that we're disobeying his commands, that we're under God's judgment because of our sin, and we are absolutely helpless on our own to fix our own situation. So the first step in this core value is to realize we're all huge mess ups. And not to deny that, but to believe it and to teach it to others. So first, realize your huge failures. The second is confess your sin or fess up. What we're tempted to do, to do here, guys, for a lot of us, and what, we're tempted, what others are tempted to do is to, when we see our sin, when we see our failure, to give up, to lose hope, to just keep on sinning, to hide our sin, but that's not what 1 John 1, 9 says someone should do, right? It doesn't say, if we sin, don't do anything about it. Just forget it. It's all good. Go back to what you're doing. Carry on, bruh. No, it tells us to do something about it. It tells us not to give up. What should you do, though, after you realize your failure? You should confess your sin. You should agree with God that your sin is bad, that it's wicked, and that you need help. Confess that you are in need of grace. But then this confession, this confession always needs to come with something. It can't be by itself. Confession always needs to come with faith. 
And this faith that this confession comes with is in a specific thing or a specific person. And that goes right into our third point, right? So first, realize your failure. Second, confess your sin. And third, run to Jesus. 1 John 1, 9 tells us to run to a specific person, right? It says that there is a specific person who has all the resources we need for the forgiveness of our sins and the salvation of our souls. If we confess our sins, He, who is the He? Jesus. He is faithful to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You see, guys, embrace this truth. Jesus came for sinners, for rebels, for God-haters, for losers, for failures. He came to redeem the helpless, the hopeless, the depressed, the disobedient. The Messiah died for mess-ups, guys. The Bible is for the broken and the burdened. The Savior came for sinners, so don't give up. Confess and have faith. The confession of your sin without faith in Jesus or without trusting the gospel is worthless. You always want to confess your sin, and at the same time you confess your sin, you want to run to the grace of Jesus. You want to run to the person of, the G- of Jesus. Because in the gospel, there is a, pr- a promise of forgiveness for messed up sinners. In the gospel, there is a true hope of being cleansed from all our unrighteousness before God. The end of all our sins is found in the cross of Jesus. All of our filth and our guilt are washed away through His blood. So we need to realize our failure and then confess our sin all the while we run to Jesus. And you first need to embrace this yourself before you can teach it to others. But then you need to teach this to others as you disciple them, as you preach the gospel. And this truth, guys, this core value, it applies to Christians and to non-Christians. How does this apply to those who don't believe in Jesus yet, to non-Christians? First of all, this, this should inform how you share the gospel at skate parks, at your schools, with your friends. You should come to people and say, hey, just like me, I am a failure. You need to realize your failure, that you have sinned against God, that you, need to, you can't make any excuses for your sin, but God's judgment is hanging over you. And then you need to confess your sin. And as you confess your sin and realize your failure, you need to run to the grace of Jesus that is found in the gospel. Jesus died on the cross so that all those who trust in him, they will be saved. And there is forgiveness, there's eternal life, there's cleansing, there's redemption, there's salvation for anybody who confesses their sins and runs to the grace of Jesus. His arms are open wide and he is drawing any man to himself and any woman to himself who flees for safety. But this, does, this also applies to Christians, guys. This is the Christian life when you think about it, right? This circle of confessing your sin and trusting in Jesus. This is what you need to practice and this is what you need to teach to others. Don't stop fighting sin. Don't stop confessing sin to God. And don't stop confessing your sin to other trusted Christians. Don't stop preaching the gospel to yourself and to others. Don't stop believing in Jesus. Keep at it. Keep going. We're all works in progress. And this process is what God uses to make us more like Him and use us for His glory to bring others to Jesus and help make others like Jesus. So when you mess up, don't give up. Fess up. And then run to Jesus. Because if we confess our sins, guys, He is faithful and He is just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness.